Good morning, everybody. How are you? Uh, this is Monday, November the 7th, and we have our Monday Rewind. We're going to talk about the tournaments that happened over the past week, and I'll start off with the PGA Tour. Rod Pampling, 47-year-old Rod Pampling, managed to eke out a victory. He really hung in there over the last nine holes, birdied four of the last six holes, which I thought was very, very strong, and ended up winning by one. They gave him a three-year exemption on the PGA Tour, so you can figure out. He's 47, three-year exemption. He's got a place to play until he's 50 and can play on the senior tour. So I think his whole mindset will be nice and relaxed for the next three years. So congratulations to Rod Pampling. European tour was exciting. Thor, Thor, oh, I can't even pronounce his name. Thor Bjorn Olesen. And I thought about it and I thought, Thor Bjorn, you know, Olesen, son of, Olesen, son of Thor and Bjorn. So, son of the Norse god Thor and the best Danish golfer ever to walk this planet, Thomas Bjorn. That's how I will try and remember Thor Bjorn Olesen in the future. Super player, he's won now I think four times on the European Tour. But what fascinated me was one of the guys that finished second. Besides David Horsey, the other player was Li Hong Tong from China. And I had my wife in hysterics by the end of the tournament with this guy with his pre-shot routine because I was matching words to what he was doing. And basically this is what he does. He, he, he would do his practice swing and then he would do his chest and then he'd bring the club up here. And then he did something really weird with this hand where he would do this like he was pulling pieces of string off the, off the grip. And, uh, and so, and then he, when he got up, as he went to put, he'd pull the shirt here, and then when he got up to the ball, he'd pull his pants there. So by the end, I was saying, touch your heart, pull the string, pull the string, pull the string, touch your heart, pull the pants, hit the ball. I remember Sergio Garcia with his regrip, 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 and he got out of that. I remember Kevin Nahr being, you know, frozen over the ball and not being able to take the backswing. But this, to me, was one of the weirdest ones ever. But he played really well and finished one shot behind. Uh, it was a great battle between him and David Horsey over the last few holes for second place. Both ended up tied, which I think is what they deserved. On the LPGA, Shen Sheng Feng won again. She is from China. She is really a dominant player. And the interesting thing with some of these players like Inbi Park and Shen Sheng Feng, they are not built like athletes. They don't look like athletes. They don't look like someone who could run a hundred yard dash, but they play. And I've had over the past few months, some ladies in golf school that were built similar and were worried about, you know, will this affect my golf? No, it won't. If your technique is good, I have sent a video to some of my students of Shen Sheng Feng Swing. She has a beautiful setup. Her arms hang nice and straight down here. She has a great move through the ball. It doesn't matter what your physique. If you can swing a golf club, you can play well. So don't let that ever put you off. I enjoyed the Champions Tour mainly because of where it was being played. Scott McCarran beat Tom Byron in a playoff, but it was being played at CCV, Country Club of Virginia. And I have a ton of students that are members at Country Club of Virginia. And like everything else, it started with one person coming to golf school, really enjoying the experience, going home, telling some friends. Next time they came, they brought some friends. Those friends went away following year they brought some friends and so it's really exploded and I have a lot of 
people from CCV and so it was nice just to and of course I've been up there and played on that golf course great golf course Lenny Watkins said it was the best conditioned golf course that the champions to have played on this year so congratulations to the greenskeeping staff at CCV you know that uh, is a really nice golf course I've played it a couple of times and uh, I go up every July and go and play in a tournament with some of those people up there have a wonderful time they treat me like a king and congratulations to CCV on a very very successful tournament tomorrow we're going to be talking about training aid Tuesday but I'm actually not going to do a training aid I'm gonna do a product and it's a product that I think I think sometimes I'm going to have a product instead of a training aid per se this is also going to help your game but this is something that you need to stay tuned because I have a great feeling it's going to help your game. See you tomorrow.